Hi guys, and welcome to part 83 of Skyrim Mod Sanctuary. Now, one of the less immersive and realistic aspects of Skyrim is the way it handles equipment, especially the equipment that you use regularly, the weapons, the armor, and so on. Uh, you tend to just carry one weapon at a time, and you know, even if you actually use a bow, a mace, a sword, a dagger, in very quick succession, you never actually see them on your character, and you switch between them without consequence, without care. And there have been a number of mods out there that have attempted to, you know, make this look and act a little bit more realistic. But there is a new mod out now called Equipped Overhaul, which adds several new features in a combined package that really does look very interesting indeed. Now, the first uh, feature I'm going to show you is the geared up feature. And as you can see, my character has a lot of gear equipped now. So he has a mace, he has an axe, a dagger, a sword, and a bow. And if he had a two-handed weapon or a staff uh, in his favorites list, it would show up on his back. But honestly, it looks a little laden down when I do that. But it is a very simple system. It basically shows all of the weapons I have got on my favorites list on my body. Now, if you have two weapons, that are of the same type, say two maces, it will show the last one equipped. But as you can see, it is very realistic. Now this is obviously not gonna be for everyone. Some people like their character to just look a little simple, a little clean, but this gives you a real sensation of the amount of weaponry this character is carrying. Oh, and don't worry if you don't like this option or any of the other features. The mod comes with a mod configuration and you can switch them off. In fact, the geared up option is disabled by default, uh, so you will actually have to enable that if you want to see all of your equipment. Okay, but that's a very visual feature, uh, but this mod is so much more than that. It actually has a feature that makes the gameplay a little bit more realistic. Have you ever noticed in the game, you can pretty much change weapons very quickly, change to your sword, change to your short bow, and so on, and there's no real downside. Well, this mod aims to change that. In the MCM, if you enable the realistic unequip, and then change from bow to sword, you'll notice that my bow dropped on the ground. I've now got a long bow because I had multiple bows, but if I now equip the long bow, you'll notice the sword and shield get thrown to the ground. So if I'm fighting and constantly switching weapons, I'm going to be dropping them on the floor. Far more realistic. I mean, if you're switching between a bow and a sword in the middle of a fight, you are probably in a bit of an emergency and you're not gonna be busy putting your bow on your back in a nice, comfortable fashion. Uh, don't panic, this, this is only when you've got your weapon drawn. If you put your weapon away and then switch to sword and draw it, you're fine. Put the sword away, switch to bow, draw it, I'm fine. It's only when I switch with the weapon out. So there you go, bow on the floor. And obviously this is going to change the way you fight. It adds a new consideration. Do you really want to drop your bow when the enemy closes in? Or are you gonna keep backing off and perhaps try and put the bow away and then switch to your sword and carry on fighting? Now, there are a couple of considerations when using this feature, some things you should be aware of. For example, if I go to my favorites menu and see I've got a style rim short bow and a style rim long bow, if I say change to my longbow now, I drop my shortbow, yeah? I can then pick it up again, but one major weakness is it's not on my favorites list. So I have to go back into the favorites and find it again, add it to the favorites, go back to this menu and add it once more to my hotkeys. That is a little annoying, I have to tell you. So either you're going to drop your weapons very infrequently to avoid having to do that, or this feature may annoy you. Now, what I'm actually hoping is there is a way for the mod author to add, um, well, basically an extension to this feature, whereby when it drops a weapon, it adds it to a list, and when you pick any weapon up 
that's on that list, it automatically adds it to your favorite menu again. And if possible, it would be really nice if it could store the hotkey. Now, I'm not sure if it's actually possible to reassign hotkeys to weapons via a script. I'm not 100% sure, but even if it just adds it to your favorites list again, and I, and I think that's possible, although don't quote me on that, I think that's possible. If it could just add it, once you pick it up, it immediately appears on your favorites list again, at least you could quickly hotkey it. I think that would definitely mitigate the annoyance of that feature, because whilst I do like the immersive realism of dropping the weapon, I am going to get fed up of constantly going through the motions of putting it back on my favorites list. And the other consideration for this feature is that occasionally when you drop a weapon, uh, it will disappear. Now, this is not a, pr a bug with the mod, it's a bug with the game. I am sure everyone at some point in their Skyrim uh, playthrough has been hit by the disarm shout from one of the undeads, and you've been unable to find your weapon. And there's no way it fell off a bridge or a hurt because you're in a corridor or something, and you just cannot find it. Occasionally, items do fall into walls or through the floor. It is possible. It doesn't happen too often, but then you don't get disarmed too often. I tested this inside a closed space, and I changed weapons many, many times, and eventually I did manage to get a weapon disappearing once. So, you should be aware of that. Again, I'm hoping the mod author might be able to do something. For example, if, if there's a list of the weapons you've dropped, perhaps there could be a skill or a power uh, very, very similar to the way there are like survival skills in Frostfall and you activate it and your character pauses for two or three seconds and all of the items that he's dropped reappear in the inventory like he's searching for them um, now you wouldn't be able to do this in combat but it would be a very useful feature and it would again mitigate a small problem a problem that's not the mod's fault that is actually the game's fault but a problem nonetheless and the final feature of this mod is, well, basically regarding torches. If you actually drop a torch that is lit, it will drop to the ground and be lit. And of course, this works when you've got your weapon out. So if I now switch to my bow, you'll notice the torch fly off. Well, there you go, is it is my feet lighting the area up. Let's look at that in first person. I switch to my bow. There you go, both my axe and... My axe is supposed to have been dropped. I think it's here somewhere. And my torch have dropped. This is actually kind of useful. Um, it works as well for shields. So if you're creeping around a dungeon, especially if you're using a mod that makes dungeons very dark, and you have your torch out and something jumps out and attacks you, you can switch to your shield and it will drop the torch at your feet still illuminating the area, but now you have your shield. Very useful. Now again, it won't drop the torch if you don't have your weapon drawn, so if I just switch to my bow now, the torch has been put away, but I can then take the torch right back out. So it's only when I've got weapons drawn. However, you can also go to the menu and go along to your torch and drop it and it will drop to the ground lit and again still illuminating the surrounding area. And again, this option can actually be disabled in the MCM. In general, this is a really well done mod. It's perfect for anyone who likes a more immersive and realistic experience. I mean, there are a few things, as I mentioned, I would like the weapons to go back on the favorites menu if possible, if they could become favorited again when you pick them up immediately, and some type of power that would recover items if for some reason the game gets buggy and they drop out of, you know, drop through the floor. If those could be added to this mod, it would make it perfect for me. I would, I would put that on my must-have list of mods. But if that's not possible, this mod is still great, and I highly recommend it for anyone who does want that more realistic experience. 
Okay, guys, that is about it for this video. Um, I already have a candidate for the next Skyrim Mod Sanctuary video, a, a mod that does look interesting, if a little complicated. Um, but I am also planning on resurrecting the Skylight series, the series where I showcase mods a little quicker, perhaps, you know, without necessarily playing them for three or four weeks beforehand. So I'm hoping to have an episode of that up this week as well. And of course, I have plenty of other videos that I plan on releasing, and you guys are more than welcome to join me for all of those. I am, as you can see, ending with some screenshots that you guys have been posting. Keep posting them, and I will keep using them. Thank you very much for all those. Anyway, I will see you guys on whichever video you decide to join me for, and until then, as always, have fun.